And we are live. Yes, we are. Oh, let's just see here. Always got to double check. Yeah. Always got to double check. Oh, I can hear me. I can hear myself. Yes. I can hear me. What's up? DC, Mama, Matthew, Matt, Enchanted. Everybody's going to roll in. Going to go rolling. Rolling in. All right, I'm moving some stuff around. Bear with me. Booyah. What's up, Jeff? Um, yeah. Hello. Cicero, what's up? Come one, come all. Join me at the table. Oh, there it is. Duh. Losing my mind there for a minute. That's right. What's up, Jim? Doctor? There's Chris. Chris? I'm trying to do a little bit of pre organization Making sure I got all my pieces and parts and making notes. And... Uh, nice, Jesse. Nice. What lessons are we learning today? Um, I, I've got some. I've got some stuff to open up that I've not actually looked at yet that I picked up from Joe Fast. I've got something else I picked up from Joe Fest. I'm going to open it up. I've been doing some math. I've been trying, I've been actually cleaned up the table a little bit. So, yeah. What's up, Seth? Hi, Colton's Toy Time. There's Ren, Mary. So, uh, yeah. Rwando. Oh, let me uh, um, pull that up. Okay. Monster Squad. Oh, man. I do remember Monster Squad. I'm not, I actually, I'm not going to say I find a lot of cool stuff. I mean, compared to some other people, I mean, I really don't. Seriously. Need Gray Skull. So yeah, I mean it's uh that's the thing I love about it though, is some days are good, some days are bad. Um, some days you score, some days you don't. So that's the that's the fun of it. That's the fun of it. I had some people comment when I done the um um little Mando minis on the motorcycle. I think it was Jared. I think Jared mentioned maybe somebody else about the uh, the jetpack bobas. They were right. I thought they were the same, but they're not. So jetpack uh, Mando. I said boba. Wow, jetpack Mando. Jetpack Mando with Grogu right there. So observations. Thank you. It's funny too when I was looking at them. Because the only thing different is the arms. The legs are pretty much the same. The head, I mean. So, yeah. There we go. So, there is there is two different ones. So, yeah. Blue Sniffer, thank you. I think it's got a whopping 200 views. <laughs> but I enjoy getting out doing the photography stuff and, and you know, if those type of videos help one person, then it's a win for me. Uh, no, Spidey Pumpkinhead. I did not see that. I'm going to have to look at that. Oh, and check this out. <laughs> Pineapple. This is Baja Flash. I actually saw it in the store today. 
This, this is so good. It is so good. It's pineapple. I mean, I thought the uh, the other one in the cans I like, but no, that pineapple one. Z2K, how you doing? Uh, so yeah, we'll let a few more people come in. I've got some stuff I want to show. I got some stuff we're going to open, and basically we're just going to chat. You know, we're just going to chat. You know, nothing, nothing too crazy. I'm gonna try to keep it not so deep. I can't do the code reds. I mean, they're good. I mean, but man, I'm a sucker for pineapple and coconut. So. Who money? Why not? <laughs> I mean, don't you? I mean, uh, I think Jetta Patrol said it the best uh, in his group chat. He actually put a post in there. Let me see if I can find it. It was uh, it was really good explaining that. Let's see if I can find that. It is Matthew straight up right there. Baja Flash, right there. This is, it, I mean, it doesn't even really taste like a Mountain Dew. It tastes like pineapple, which is great. Uh, let's see if I can find that. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use uh, the words of Jetta Patrol. Um, and if you haven't joined Jetta Patrol's Facebook group, why not? And you'll see stuff like this. Hey, Blair. Uh, Matt, I just saw it today. Literally, it just hit the store I went to today. Um, but anyway, so renaming of Slave One is an example. Uh, one thing to note, corporations follow the money. Uh, if they view something as a threat to getting your dollars or your money, then they will take action. You're you know, free to discuss different types, blah, blah, blah. Um, Da, 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 da. But basically, that's what it boils down to, is money. I mean, every business is about money at the end of the day. So if they, you know, take something and rename it and can resell it. A prime example, let's let's think about this for a minute. Prime example, Hot Toys and Mandalorian figures. You know? Wait one. Right here. This is the only Mandal Mandalorian hot toy that I will ever own. Right here. This is it. This is it. What are they up to now? Four? <laughs> and it's literally the same thing with just different paint. But people will buy it. And that's cool. If you want all the Mandalorians, that's cool. Um, for me personally, I'm happy with OG. Um, so from a business point of view, it makes total sense. I mean, I mean, if I could sell this pen and then just keep selling it, but change different color to it, but it's the same pen, you know, it, it, it's nothing to get upset over what I'm getting at. <sighs> I don't think they will, Dr. Fate. I really don't. I really don't. I think they'll I think they'll make money. Here's the thing. There is a lot of very smart financial people and marketing people and they spend a ton of money in research. And I don't know. I I, I think I, I personally think think they'll make money. I mean it doesn't matter to me. Um uh, <laughs> ran but see that but that's okay because there's nothing different between og and best car except the paint that's it that's it i don't i like og uh da, da, da. but yeah um it's just it's nothing to get upset over and and people get upset over stuff like this and I truthfully don't, I, and I'll be honest with you, and you can get upset with me for it, but I honestly don't understand why I get upset over anything related to a toy. I, I just don't. 
Um, I'm sorry, but I just don't. There's why. Why should getting upset bother bother you? It's a toy. And, and if it's named X or if it's named Y, uh, uh, here's you another good example uh, at Joe Fest. So uh, if you actually watch Kent Pool, he actually uh, has a video on the um, panel for um, Action Force. And so here's, here's the crazy thing. So Sergeant Slaughter, most people know who that is, is a wrestler. Overseas, he's Sergeant Slammer. Because you can't use that name. You can't use Slaughter overseas. It's the same figure. Different name. Sergeant Slaughter in the States. Sergeant Slammer across the pond. It's renamed. Does it matter? It's still the same figure. It's just the name. Um, and I can understand people getting annoyed and this and that. I'm just saying, don't let it, don't let it get to the point to where you're being just a beep head. Just saying, there's, there's no need in it. So anyway, I try. I, I want to keep this light. So I'm, I don't want to get on one of my little tangents. Uh, best car group. Yeah, yeah. That little green thing is an essential part of the show. <laughs> <laughs> He's cute. Yeah, I get it. Oh man, shot down no fun. Oh man. Yeah, it is. It's just toys. That's all it is. It's just toys. Speaking of toys, you guys want to see something I picked up at Joe Fest? <whistles> I'm telling you right now, this thing is so hard to find. And I actually found it. Man. But before I do that, there is one thing that I saw on Buttface. It's either Buttface or Instagram. And I literally, <laughs> I literally was sort of upset when I saw the post. Because I didn't hear anything about this during Prime. Prime Day, right? I didn't see any posts or anything, which I find that surprising because I would have figured that post for this particular item would have blew up in toy groups, especially toy groups. I did not see one post until um, today's Wednesday, Monday, Monday evening. Black Series Snow Speeder. Big one. According to this guy that posted, he picked it up on Prime Day for 69 bucks. Literally 50% off. Well, give or take. Now, I would have bought that for, for 69 bucks. I won't pay 130 for it, but I'd pay 69 for it. So I don't know if you guys saw it. I didn't see anything about that. And I would have assumed people would have been posting that. Look what I got. Look what I scored. Because it happens over everything. Um, but, yeah. I was like, wow. that Because that was a deal. And I personally never really wanted it. But for 69 bucks, it's not a huge hit to the old pocketbook. So... GameStop did not have that bit. Corey, come on. That thing is massive. There ain't no way GameStop had that for 18 bucks. I'm not, I'm not calling you. I'm not calling you the L word. It's just hard for me to believe something that's 129 bucks was 18 bucks. And if it was, did you buy every one of them? Yeah, I, the my tie fighters out in the backyard. <laughs> I always said if I, if I ever find another one at a decent deal, I'd probably pick it up because just to hang it up. There's a corner right over there. I think it'd be cool to hang it up in. Uh, Inst you talking about the ones that was posting on Instaham all day today? I was getting blowed up. My watch is going crazy. Um, 
I have not gazed out on, to be honest with you. I haven't had a lot of time today, but anywho, so I picked up something at Joe Fast. This thing is so, I mean, it's so hard to find. It's, it's rare. It's a Star Wars figure. It is so rare. And I didn't even show what I picked up in the video. Other than what Kent Pool got me. But uh, I guarantee you this. There's 47 people in here. And they ain't none of y'all will guess what this is. But man, it's, it's, it's rare. It's, it's rare. It's crazy rare. Chat is rolling. I like the chat rolling. Corey, I'm telling you, man, I, that if, if they had the Black Series snow speeder that literally is like as big as this mat for, for 18 bucks, man, whoever got that, that's, that's the score of the century. I have not built the digger yet. I have not. I've been doing other things. Black Series. It is Black Series. Um, trying to see what kind of clue I could possibly get you. I'm looking at the camera to make sure I don't show anything on the box. Um, it's a... It's a it's a relatively uh, newer figure, so it's within, you know. Chris, I'm sh no, Chris, I you probably have it. It's just I haven't seen many of them. I've I've got a few of them. Uh, I, yeah, shot down. I saw those. Uh, they got a display with the uh, no, not car. I got car. Car was there though, but they wanted ninety five bucks for her. And she and the guy that had her was the only one I saw at the entire Joe Fest was that one, which I found that it doesn't mean she was the only one there. It's just out of all the booths I went to, out of all the Star Wars figures I looked at, he had the only Cara Dune that I noticed, and he wanted ninety five bucks for it, and I ain't paying ninety five bucks for it. I've got one. She's sitting right there. All right, here we go. Are you ready for this super rare figure? Super rare. Ooh. Tell me this is going to blow your minds. It's going to it's going to blow you away. All right, here we go. 3 2 1 Clone Trooper. <laughs> Oh. Yep, I picked up a clone trooper. <laughs> I got a clone trooper right there. And and the reason I I mean these they're so hard to find. I mean, I think I literally only found one. I did. I've got a couple uh, that was gifted to me, but. There's like, oh God, that was so noisy. This is the one figure out of all my Star Wars figures. Well, let me rephrase that. Out of all of my troopers, man, I, 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 I could do 50 of these things. They are just so cool looking and they have really good articulation really good articulation i mean i mean look at this i mean you can you can do some awesome articulation with these things i mean look cross the legs i mean you got 30 of these i am i'm envious because that would be this would be like the perfect trooper to army build out of all the troopers and um repaints so many options for repainting and customizing with these things because it's it's a it's a blank canvas come on i'm just i'm just checking him out here 
But I mean, something like this, you could like literally, you could, you know, repaint it, create your own uh, squad if you wanted to. But I love this thing. But I'm using him for an I'm using him for a an example too of something else I got at Joe Fest. So the guy wanted here's the crazy thing. So the booth the guy wanted twenty five bucks for it, and I passed and I just started doing the show. Actually, we start we ran into some people and I I forgot about it, so I just passed on it. We're just moving on, and um, towards the end I came back around the booth and it was still hanging there, and most of everything else was gone. And I just looked at him. I said, hey, I got 20 bucks in my pocket. Will you take it for it? He said, yep. I said, okay. So 20 bucks right there. A fair deal. So, yeah. I will definitely always still looking for the uh, for these. Because they, they really got good articulation. You can get these in some amazing poses let me do this let's pose him up real quick blue sasquatch what's up actually i think i actually showed this once before this is what sold me on these um so much uh when i first got one was the uh the articulation factor that they have Because getting in some really cool poses, I think is is something really cool. All right, Timothy, you better watch it. My mods are brutal. I'm just saying, I don't gotta do nothing. My mods are brutal. <laughs> you start spamming. They're going to kick you out. It is. It's a really cool figure. And the thing I, I really, truly just love about it. I, I, I see her. I don't got to do nothing. The people at the toy table, they don't put up with BS. They don't put up with trolls and idiots. They won't do it. All right, so I mean, let me uh, let me take my little bad batch mini figs off here. I'm gonna stand. I'm gonna borrow your table again, my friend. I need to get me something for up here. But I mean, look at look at this this. I mean, that's a that's a pose a pose right there. I mean, that's a good pose. You can get the you can get the stock up to the shoulder. You can tilt the head over. I mean that for a six inch figure. I mean, that's cool. Right? I think this is, out of all the stormtroopers or troopers, I think this is literally like this, this configuration, this joint structure, how this thing is made is probably one of the best articulated ones. That's right, Blue. I mean... You can have some fun with these things because being able to do this is in my book is huge. Right? I mean, being able to actually put the weapon up to the shoulder, simulate. Yeah. Perfect. All right. You guys have, my mods have permissions to uh, to do what they need to do. Ooh, Colton, that's good. Hey, Rob, how you doing? Uh, but anyway, anywho, let me get this out of his hand because he doesn't need these for the next thing we're going to look at. All right, so... One of the things, I only picked up three things at, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's good for posing too. Um, 
Uh, I only picked up three things at uh, Joe Fest. Uh, picked up this. I picked up this next thing we're going to look at. And I picked up a figure that I'm going to do a review on. Um, so I'm not going to talk about that. Apologies. I'm, I'm not. Um, but the thing that I picked up. Hey, Paul, how you doing? Welcome. I don't think this will hold up good like a normal Mountain Dew will when it gets to room temperature. That's the one thing. But anywho, um, so if you haven't watched the video on um, Joe Fest yet, please do and check it out. And that, that was some really good stuff there. Really good stuff. Who shoots worse? I think stormtroopers. If I had to pick one, I think the stormtroopers are probably the worst. I don't know. They did have or sixty-six. Just saying. But anyway, let's get to it. So, um, yeah, that's the coconut one, or no, no, it's pineapple. That's some pineapple. But anyway, so uh, action force. Action force was there, and I am telling you right now, uh, the action force figures are. Beyond phenomenal. Uh, they had the figures there. You could pick them up. You could hold them. These things. I don't even. Words cannot describe. How good these, these figures look. Um, the head sculpts are phenomenal. I mean. I've never seen a six inch figure with that well detailed of a head sculpt that looks so realistic on the figure. Um, I mean, it's literally like hot toys head sculpts in my, in my opinion, based on what I saw, um, the color, the details, Hash, bro, if you're watching this, you guys, I will take, Man, this is going to be controversial. I would take Action Force figures over G.I. Joe classified figures as of right now. I said it. Yep, I said it. I just, I just, I just think they're better. Um, overall, from top to bottom, they, they have some weight to them, uh, which I thought was very interesting. Uh, you know, when you pick up a six inch figure, you can feel it, but these actually, and again, these are, you know, prototypes, production may be a little different, but they, they had some weight to them. Uh, so they felt durable. Um, but the artic they just, they look, the weapons, everything looked good. Um, now I will tell you this, I'm, there's only a few of them that I really, really like. The series one ones are really good. The series two ones, um, are going to be great. I think they're going to be roughly around, you know, the same price point. You're probably talking 20, 25 bucks. Um, I don't know for sure. Uh, because to be honest with you, I didn't even ask that question. <laughs> Cause I was too busy looking at them. Uh, they do have a base figure that you can buy the kits for. Then they have the series one, then they got series two. Um, but there's a, there's like three or four of them that have very interesting, unique looks to them. One of the figures actually looks like he has a gladiator helmet on, but he's in tactical gear. And it, I thought that is really just a cool touch. And it was weathered. I mean, it just looked, it looked great. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm excited for the community. Um, hey, you know, guys, you know me. I'm going to, I'm, Hey, look, I ain't getting paid by Hasbro. I ain't getting paid by I ain't getting paid by nobody. If I like a figure, I want it's not that I don't like the Joes. It's not. I think these Action Force figures actually are bringing something to the table that are going to be nice. They're up on Big, Big, Big Bad Toy Store Toy Store now uh, for pre-order. Matter of fact, let me just look. You asked for price. I should have just went to. Uh, 
I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I don't know what, who's running this show. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. Uh, I think I thought they were. Uh, action Force. Okay, there's the weapons. There's the gear pack. Okay, so the Special Ops Trooper, uh, which is a base figure, is 21 bucks. Uh, then there's a Riot Gear Pack. I'm trying to see. Oh, that's what. Oh, that's why. I need to go to Valley Burst <laughs> figures. So yeah, it looks like they've got the um, the. There we go. Okay, so Swarm was one of them. Um, Swarm's actually a really cool one. It's like good for troop building. Uh, Bone Collector. Bone Collector is wicked cool. Let me see if I can grab a, uh, a screenshot. And I'll show you uh, Bone Collector here. Bone Collector. Bone Collector is one of the ones I really like. I really like him. All right. BC for Bone Collector. All right, let me see if I can do this real quick. Um, let me resize this little window right here. Let me go to my properties. Let's browse out. There's Bone Collector right there. Okay. All right, let's turn that image on. And let me readjust this, make it a little bit bigger. All right, so there's Bone Collector. Um, he should pop up here in a second. Um, but it's that. It's, but if you actually... It's going to be hard to see it, but the head sculpt, like the helmet comes off. It's really just so cool. Um, and Swarm. So these, like Bone Collector, they're running, let me look here, uh, $31.99 is what they're going to be running uh, from Big Bad Toy Store. And, and I know a lot of people's going to be like, wow, you know, but you get a, you get a lot with it. I mean, it's, it's not a terrible um figure and again it doesn't do it justice until you actually hold it in your hand that's the crazy thing uh let's do this i should you can tell i actually didn't prep for this i'm gonna i'm gonna grab a few of them and i'll show you as many of them as i can uh, i'm showing you the ones that i personally are liking I think this was, there's one called Steel Brigade. It's pretty cool, um, but I want to find the ones. Yes, here he is. Yeah, this one right here. I really dig this one. Let me show you Swarm real quick. Let me show you Swarm. Swarm. All right, there's Swarm. Let me get the... Uh, Carrick. This is the one that uh, and that I'm definitely going to get for sure. All right. So there's Swarm. Um, and again, um, they look great. Um, you know what? Hang on. You don't got to see my face. Hang on. Let me make. Let me just make this bigger. Let me just make it a big screen so you can actually see these things. There we go. That should be better. Sergeant Slaughter looked good, uh, but S Swarm Trooper is a really good one. Um, I mean, because if you notice, you've got the, the way the head scope, the chest piece comes off. He's got the like repelling harness. Look at all the different hands you get. That's something too that, how many times have we bought like a, a, a legend or a GI Joe or something like that? I mean, look at that one, two, three pairs of hands, four counting the ones on him plus an extra. I mean, that's just wicked cool. 
Um, let me bring up the other one now that I got the big screen. Get Bone Collector back up there for you guys to see. Um, Bone Collector was the one that, like I said, they they took the head the the helmet off and the head sculpt was just amazing. But all of this stuff actually is modular, so like the um, um, the chest, the chest piece. I mean, all the magazines come out of the weapons. Um, but again, this is just me. Um, I, I, I just think they're cool. Uh, here's Carrick. Uh, like I said, Carrick's my favorite. He's bald headed and got a beard, but, um, I was just really digging the way he looked. Um, again, he's got like that vest piece. The, the, that's the one, he's the one that had that gladiator style helmet. Again, multiple hands, multiple weapons. Um, so yeah, I mean, just go to big, big, I actually post a link uh, in the chat for, and then that way you guys can actually just see the, um, see what all they have. Um, there you go. I think that should take it, but the, the company is um, that sells them is called uh, Balaverse, Layaverse. This is the this is the company. Uh, these are the new Action Force figures. So, all right, Boom. there we go. I'm gonna make my, I'm gonna make my little window small again. <laughs> um, but yeah. I mean, just check them out. If it's something that you may be interested in, great. Um, again, I didn't. I've seen them. Kent's talked to, talked about them. Um, I've been to their website. I've looked and stuff. But again, when I actually held them in my hand, that's when I was like, "Holy nutcrackers!" But speaking of them, I bought their uh, weapon pack prototype ornaments. Or, or, armaments. Jesus, I cannot talk today. Uh, they had this at the con. This was 30 bucks, and it comes with 35 weapons. And 35 weapons for 30 bucks is not bad. It is not bad at all. Um, there's a nice little card on the back of it, a little info card. But we're going to open these things up. And the Sergeant Slaughter figure, it looked like Sergeant Slaughter. Just saying. All right. This is the first time I've actually held any of their weapons, too. And I'm noticing something here. Ooh. Listen, hang on a minute. I uh, saw a few flags there. They actually gave one away, an uh, in-box uh, flag. Oh, guys, these are not... Where's me a, a, a blaster? These are, these are actual hard weapons. There's like... No flex in them. You know how like normal uh, weapons have this flex in them? These have like, there's like no flex. Now, you guys know me. I'm not a big fan of completely blacked out weapons, but I mean, these, these are cool. These are action force weapons. Um, you can use them for anything. That's the beauty of them. So we got that one. Oh, we got magazines. We got a bunch of magazines. Oh, this is cool. You can't get that with a you can't get that with figures. Look at their detachable magazines. 
Oh. And like these two guns here, this is another cool thing, are these three guns. Put magazines in them, right? And there's still two, four, six. So each weapon has three magazines. Wow. That's impressive. That's impressive. They're not die cast. They're it's like a it's almost like a, a resin or something. I mean, they're 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 stiff, which is great. Uh, but these are the three that come with this pack right there. We got those three. Little sniper, grenade launcher, right there. Wow. Now I know why Kent Kent actually had these a while back. He actually ordered them. Um, in hindsight, it probably would have been smart to pick up two packs of them. In in, in hindsight, there's that pack. This pack actually has one in it that I'm really excited for. <laughs> we got the grenade launcher. <laughs> Look at this. That is wicked. And we have a saw squad automatic weapon right there. 900 and something round cyclet rate with the ammo box that pegs in. This is so cool. Oh, might help if I put in the right peg slot. Oh, that is wicked. I love the fact that we have these detachable magazines. That's just great. And a bipod right there. And that little pack. I might keep this out for a minute. Uh, this pack here. What do we got? We got that crazy beast right there with, uh, okay, this one don't have a magazine. We got that crazy beast. We got, oh, we got an AK. There's, that's the magazines. Oh yeah. AK right there, boom, with three magazines. And uh, solid off shotgun. Boom. That's a win. That's a win. Oh, I may keep that out too for now. I'm thinking of doing something, so I wanted to leave a couple of them out. All right, this pack here is the pistol pack. Uh, got the Uzi. Looks like we got the, the big 44 right there. Looks like we got the Desert Eagle right there. Colt 1911. Got a crazy modded gun. And looks like a looks like a Glock right there. So pistol pack. Oh. Yeah, the, the, right. These are not pliable. That's the thing I love about them because that tells me these right here may paint really good. And the last pack, what's up, Zodiac? Yeah, actually, the, the other, this is the prototype pack. They actually had another pack there and they were all painted and they actually look really good. This pack is actually really cool because it's the blades. Got that cool, look at that axe right there. Got the holes in it. And we got that crazy looking thing. We got that big old mamma jamma blade. Got a kookery right there. Got a kookery. And got a buoy. Nice little buoy right there. And a little tactical knife, like a folder. So, I mean, they got it going on. They got it. I had no idea that they weren't pliable, though. And that is a wonderful thing in my book. Because sometimes when you're trying to pose things up, I mean, they get, 
you know, bent and weird looking. So I'm curious. <sighs> I'm going to use this trooper. I'm going to see what I can come up with. Because I love, I love Star Wars figures and, and modern weapons. I really do. Um, and I'm curious on how these would actually look utilizing a, uh, a trooper. Hey, Andy. Yeah, I definitely will be purchasing weapons for sure. For sure. All right, let's see if I can get him going here. I always do the uh, the actual um, arm poses before I ever do the, the leg poses. Oh, yeah, he would. All right. I'm telling you, this actually looks pretty flipping cool. Oh, I dig this. I'm digging this. Digging this a lot. Oh, guys, check that out. A clone trooper with an AK. <laughs> That is sick. That is dope. Oh, I'm so into this. That is just sick. Oh, guys. I mean, yeah. That's the uh, Battleverse weapons packs, but... Best purchase of Joe Fast right there. I'm going to have so much fun with these weapons and these troopers. Let's get the uh, let's get the uh, the the grenade launcher. Let's see what we can come up with that. I think some. No, are you? Oh, I didn't even notice that. Are you serious? The freaking barrel rotates. Are you kidding me right now? I think these are 3D printed in a way. But seriously though, this barrel actually rotates. I just that's a that's a mind blower right there. Cause that's something you didn't have to do. There's no way you had to do that. All right. Oh, yes. Yes. Sorry guys. I'm 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 geeking out right now. All right. Look at this. That is just flipping perfect. And for GI Joe figures, these are better than the weapons that come with Joe's. I mean, come on. These are nice. And to have that rotating barrel. Oh. I think they would be easy to paint. I really truly do. The way these the way these feel, they have a little bit of slickness to them, but you know, the details great. I think honestly you could. I mean, you could do some uh do some slings. What's up, Cobra Class Five? Um, I'm stoked. I am super excited. Um, yeah. What's up, Switch? But like I said, this the this uh, earlier I was talking about the series two. They actually had some there. I actually saw saw them there. Um, they actually were painted desert tan, things like that. And I think that's where they'd look really, really good. Just a little bit. I mean, even if you did just a, uh, little, uh, uh, weathering on it, nothing crazy, but I mean, 
I don't know. You, you guys tell me. I mean, I think they they scale great. I mean, let's give it. Let's give this thing to Deadpool. Let's 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 just do a. Let's do another test. Let's get Deadpool out. I got him sitting here with a Star Wars blaster. Or excuse me, Trooper Pool. Trooper Pool. Let's give him a uh, a grenade launcher. I could I could see uh, Trooper Pool with a uh, grenade launcher. I could definitely see that. I got the wrong hand on him, but let me take it. Let me just take his helmet off. No, I'm leaving him on there. Trooper pull. There you go. I think it looks good. I will be ordering because I've got a lot of Marauder weapons. Oh, they're actually downstairs. And don't get me wrong, I like their weapons. But they don't do things like this. Uh, they're still good weapons. Um, uh, I actually have a, a sort of a space dio. I've got um, I got some stuff that I use for uh, my Star Wars figures. So if you get an opportunity to pick up some of these weapon packs, like I said at the con. They were 30 bucks, and you got 36 weapons. And like, like I was showing everybody earlier, all the all the weapons that had magazines, they all came with three different magazines or three magazines each. So that's a plus. Uh, but I think I found my, uh, my newest uh, weaponry. Yeah, I think I have. See? I had something planned here. Yeah. Kill two birds with one stone. Hey, what's up, Christina? Um, but, so, I wanted to uh, show some show something right here. I'm going to borrow the little table again. And I posted this picture on Instagram. But, uh, there is the Baroness on my latest cobra throne uh, this particular throne has a new home um, I was actually reached out to by um, Dylan Glaze and uh, he has purchased this throne to go to his collection um, actually the first one I did I actually uh, gave that to Big Dub at uh, Joe Fest because he was talking about it so much and um, he was there and I had it with me because I actually took it with me because I wanted to get a feel for it, what people thought, Joe collectors. I really wanted to get some feedback and I got some really good feedback and uh, Dylan messaged me and he said, hey, um, I want it. I said, okay. So there it is. And then I wanted Everybody to see what it actually looks like with a figure on it. So I actually took a picture with Baroness. I, honestly, I think Baroness looks good on it. Um, and, uh, yeah. So there you go. I'm really digging these things. Um, I do not mass produce these things. Um, if you're interested in one, just DM me on Instagram and we'll talk. Um, I, I make these things. Um, they're all one-offs. They're 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 all different, in some shape, form, and fashion. Uh, the first one that I did, I actually had the seat in this down here. This one I actually took it and put it all the way down. Uh, I actually sort of like that, but there you go. There's a little close-up of it. So, um, and I've had people ask me. You know, hey, Greg, how long does it take you to make one? It's about a week. It takes me about a week um, from printing to paint, everything else. So they're not, um, like I said, if, if you're interested, no pressures. But if you're interested in one, just DM me on Instagram and uh, we'll talk. Um, also, um, my newest... Boba Throne that I did is right here. I took car off the, the copper one. Uh, but I wanted to talk a little bit about this one because, again, these are all different. 
Um, I've never thought about 3D printing my own figure. I don't have a Skeletor. <laughs> um, <clears throat> excuse me. But what makes this thing uh, so interesting to me is I tried a new technique on the cushions. And if you look at the cushion, this is actually EVA foam. It's um, moldable foam. So I actually took... I actually took the, the 3D printed pieces for the seat cushion in the back, I actually glued these two together, and then I took the EVA foam and I formed it to this design. Um, so it actually has almost like simulated padding. You can see the wrinkles and everything in it. And I thought I thought it gives it a really good realistic look but uh, this is my latest boba throne right there again um this is the only one of these i have i have my one over there that i made for myself if you're interested in a boba throne dm me um and we'll talk so there you go Shameless plugs uh, if for people that are interested in in a boba thrones. Ooh, look at here! I got two right here that I'm actually printed out the other day, last week actually, and because uh, I was experimenting with paint designs. So, shameless plug, I know, but you know, and it's one of those things to where I'll be up front with you: they're not twenty bucks. They're not. Um, there's a lot of work goes in one of these a lot of time and but I enjoy it and honestly I didn't think anybody would ever be interested in one tell you the truth I had two people reach out to me about Cobra Thrones and uh, I was like what and, it, and for Big Dub to give it an endorsement was huge for me because I do value uh, his opinion a lot on stuff but yeah there you go it doesn't Baroness look good on this thing? I think Baroness looks better on than Cobra Commander. Hey, Ryan, doing good. So, um, and uh, one of the things I'm actually going to do as well, I'll probably, because like I said, they're all basically one of ones. Because there's, even, even they're just, everything about them is different. There's nothing about them that are, oh, hang on. One little touch. This here is actual. I put real leather on these. So this is actual real leather. <laughs> um, I just thought it. I mean, it's leather. You can smell the leather on it. I, when I started making these and, and I thought to myself, I was like, I'm going to make one of these for me. And I want leather on it. I don't want plastic i want leather and uh then i looked at it and i thought this is cool so um and i've got all kinds of different colored leathers i'm gonna be using um actually yeah we're, we we talked about doing a live stream we haven't done one in a while so but yeah so there you go it was great seeing uh ryan and kent um uh, over the weekend um yeah right i have a california's already reinstituted theirs welcome hooter welcome glad to have you um but yeah these are really really fun to do and uh it's uh it's a challenge it is such a challenge. Uh, thanks, Doug. I appreciate that. I enjoy it. That's the thing. If I didn't, if I didn't like it, I wouldn't be doing it. Um, I'm gonna show you something else too. I'm gonna give you an update on something else. Let me pull it up. At the moment. I am actually printing the biggest thing that I've ever printed. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but 
Oh, Lord, no. Hang on. Will it do it? There we go. What? <laughs> that is literally the print, the, the biggest print I'm doing. Um, this is the left left chest piece of Wrecker's armor. Um, and I know, I know, I put a lot of work into the heavy Mando armor, but I had to call an audible. I learned my, I learned a lot of lessons. Um, the chest being the biggest pain. So I am taking some time and I'm printing out the uh, chest or the actual upper torso armor for Wrecker because it's weird. Um, it's it's it doesn't have a hard angles. Um, it's more symmetrical, so there's no not there's not a lot of hard nineties, and that's the part that was killing me with a heavy Mando arm. They would just these hard angles, and those angles hurt. <laughs> not gonna lie, they were they just weren't comfortable. Um, so I decided I'm, 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 I was going to punt because Heavy Mandalorian and Wrecker are my two favorite characters for big guys like me. Um, I just think it fits. <laughs> fits. So what I'm going to do with this one is, and this is the weird part about it because the, the Wrecker file um, is... It shows the armor as one piece, almost like you would put it on and let it drop down. I haven't found a way to uh, to separate it and attach it, but I have all the pieces cut. The two two front pieces I can do a full left and a full right. The back is four separate pieces that I'm gonna have to put together. And the reason for that was, if you notice on the record, he's got that high back piece on his neck. Uh, that was too tall for my printer. So I had to cut that one. So uh, with Wrecker, I'm starting with the, um, the chest first. And I'll be able to get a good idea once this piece is done, I can actually put it on and put it up to place. And I've got it scaled up to where I'm pretty confident uh, Rager hand was uh, actually not up here. Um, it's actually downstairs because I have to uh, put the visors in it. Um, so I'm anxious to um, see how that turns out. Uh, Ken Pool, what's up? We actually just got through talking about the uh, um, Action Force weapon pack. I was telling her, but I had no idea they were like non pliable, they were like hard pieces. Uh, new diodes. Actually, uh, if you look at my video that dropped today, I actually tested out a product that I found. I uh, purchased it. It's from Diorama Prints. Uh, it's like 24 bucks, I think. It comes with, they're almost like photos, but they're like 11 by 18 or something like that. And you have to mount them to some kind of foam board. And I was really impressed with those. I actually took some uh, minis um, and used that as a background for that. And I also used a new product that I've been wanting to use, but I've never thought about getting it, uh, Kinetic Sand. Uh, it makes a great base, um, and it doesn't dry out. So definitely check that video out, uh, the toy photography video today. Uh, oh, since Kent's here... Can't concede the Baroness on the throne. Right there. Ooh. The Baroness. I love this. I love this figure. <laughs> She's just wicked cool. Wicked cool. One of the ideals I had for the... Because I still need to pick up... I saw one at the con. Um... Now that I started doing these thrones, I really kicked myself for not getting that that other Cobra Commander with the soft goods. Because the regular Cobra Commander with the hard plastic cape, he just 
he's just hard to get to sit down right. Um, I don't know how much they wanted for the one. That, I think Doug actually picked it up. Um, I'm not sure what they were wanting for. I didn't even price it, to be honest with you. Um, but I would love to see that one on one of these thrones. But one of the ideals I had was to take this throne and then take two of the bases on each side. And you'd have Cobra Commander in the, the main throne. But there'd be no back on these two. And they'd be on each side. You could have Baroness and Destro. And then you could actually do those and put whoever you wanted on them. But I thought that'd be a really neat ideal. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. A, that's the way my brain works. <sighs> uh, no, Chris, I didn't. I actually have an avatar um, that I use in a program. And the avatar is my exact measurements. And what you do is with the avatar is you can take the uh, 3D uh, the, or the, the file, the STL file, and put it on the actual model. And then you can move the, uh, the print file around and help it actually uh, form. Um, but I'm still learning that. That's a pretty extensive program, and it just... Um, yeah, there's there's a lot to this this industry, a lot. Um, so, you know, we learning. <laughs> it's all about learning, um, and it takes a lot. Like I said, I'm the print that I'm printing right now. That that chess piece. That is, uh, I can tell you exactly. That's the math I was doing. Two days, eleven hours, and forty seven minutes to print that one piece. The other side is two days, five hours, and 42 minutes. So four days and 18 hours. So let's just, you know, let's just round it up to three, uh, no, five, almost five days to print those two pieces. So a week. So, yeah. What? Destroying the mail. But. Yeah, so guys, I mean, I hope you enjoyed what we did tonight. Um, like I said, got to see a, a, a rare con exclusive. <laughs> got these awesome weapons, which, uh, like I said earlier, I should have went ahead and picked up two packs of them. But I, the, the, I got to show this one more time because this is blowing my mind. This is where this rotating cylinder is absolutely mind-blowing now for an action figure here's the here's the thing for an action figure it's irrelevant that that actually moves but it's it's that extra touch that ex extra my favorite line air troopers that to me is going above and beyond on detail and that little hook right there right there look how little that little hook is i mean these things are just dope sick you want some weapons and again i ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say nothing about gun marauders gun runners they make some good stuff too But that rotating cylinder, yeah. Oh, yeah, the AK, the AK was just, and it looked good in that trooper's hand, too. The only thing about the AK that, uh, that I noticed on all of them, here's my one dig. Here's my one negative. Uh, the trigger, the trigger wells, they're large. Which is not necessarily a bad thing, but they are this this little right in here. That's a that's a little large, uh, but that's okay because it's a whole lot better than too small. But yeah, that AK is that thing is just I mean, and the camera's not doing it justice. 
It's really not. So now I got to get another bin to put all these weapons in. But that's the that's the thing I'm regretting right now because how cool would it be now you can actually take your your GI Joes? Yeah, I can't. I'm with you. Um, oh wait a minute, they were selling painted ones there. I didn't even know that. The ammo clips do pull out. That's the that's the crazy thing. They do. Right there. Each gun comes with three magazines. If it has a detachable magazine, each gun comes with three, and they all detach. Hang on. Look here. My clone army is, is literally going to be getting some new weapons. These are, these are like John Wick weapons. Oh, I just noticed some, oh, oh, little pouches to put these magazines in. Oh, that'd be sick. Hang on, I'm getting there. There we go. Boom, right there. I mean, that's not the greatest pose, but you get the gist. Hang on. You get the gist. Oh, it fell out. They go in there. It's just the way I want to turn it. There we go. There we go. Oh, man. Yeah, there you go. Something like that. I mean... Just saying. But now imagine... I'm gonna have to figure out a way to customize these ammo. I'll put some. Oh, that'd be so cool looking. Have some. Have these little uh, stormtrooper pouches to where they could actually hold a magazine. Oh, oh, oh. Mm -mm -mm. oh man, it's just it. It's the it just keeps on giving. <laughs> So yeah, definitely check them out. Um, Action Force. It's awesome. Magnets, yeah, but what I would like to do is actually be able to take one of these belts and actually create a, um, a soft belt maybe or something. Or maybe even buy some... Um, I need to look because I think with... Let me look here, because I know there's all kinds of accessories. Um, oh, and also they have blast effects for their weapons, too, which are really cool. Let me see if I can find it. I thought I saw it earlier. Uh, is it the Riot Gear I, oh, or something like that? Yes. So the gear packs, that may be the way I go because the gear packs actually have some accessories that may work. I see a belt. Uh, I'll have to do some more investigating. The urban gear pack. Yes, the urban gear pack. So the urban gear pack actually has some leg holsters and the leg holsters actually have magazines Oh yeah, I'm so I'm so ordering some of these accessories because that would be cool too because they come with a vest and things like that and I just yeah the uh, heavy heavy vest yeah I've got one of those so yeah that may work 
I'm more something. These these gear packs are twelve ninety nine. Uh, looks like it comes with um, a helmet with different accessories for the helmet, a vest, weapons, a belt, a backpack, and leg holsters. So for twelve ninety nine, I'll be ordering some of those. But anyway, guys, I think we're gonna wrap things up uh, tonight. I really hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, if you're interested in the throne, just DM me on Instagram or uh, Facebook Messenger, either one. Um, and tomorrow's video um, is my toy hunt video from Augusta, Georgia. Uh, so I actually went, to, after the con, I actually went on a toy hunt. So that's tomorrow's video. Um, and I am actually going to do a review video of a figure that I think is really, really cool. Uh, this week and um, probably another hunt video. So the next time we're live will be Saturday. Uh, hopefully me and Matias can he uh, meet up because didn't get to see him last weekend. I'm going to take these weapons and show them to them. I'm going to take a throne and show it to him. But guys, appreciate y'all hanging out with me. As always, uh, couldn't do it without you. And it means a lot to me that uh, everybody hangs out. We've still got over 50 in here, which is great. So thank you all for uh, sticking with me. I hope y'all have a great rest of the evening. Hope you have a great rest of the week. Um, we do have storms coming in, so be safe if you're in the path of the storms. If you're in parts of the country where it's really, really hot, we got some heat wave stuff going on. Be careful. Stay hydrated. You know, not soft drinks, aqua. You know, just be careful. Be safe. Um, Hope you find whatever you're looking for this week. So, uh, yeah. Check out today's video for toy photography. Tomorrow's video is a toy hunt. And one last thing. Please, always remember, toys refreshes your soul. And I'll see you next time. Good night, everybody.